Here's one that I forgot to review. It's the sweet cane. All right. I'm just going to zoom in. As you can see, there's fruits all over this plant. All right. A few of them were bitten off by our little unwelcome guest. All right. So I had a few of them taken off. And um, hopefully we solved that problem. You can see we got some uh, goodies here waiting for him. So anyway, let's do the review. It's a waxy smooth stem, no fur. I'll try to zoom in on the node. Come on. You can see there's purpling at the node. There's no purpling on the stem. Okay. Uh, the leaf is of a narrow leaf, if you can see that. It's hard to do this reaching over. It's a narrow leaf type. Do I have any flowers for you guys? Do I got any flowers? Everything looks like it bloomed and... That looks like it's the only one, too. I got two, there's two plants in here. It kind of lost all its flowers because it's hot. You can see it's even wilting. It's kind of wilty. It's just hot in here, guys. 100 degrees for so far, you know, a month straight, basically, inside the greenhouse. It's just really taking a pounding. Um, so I don't have any of the flowers. I do believe it was a white flower. It looks like some are coming up at the top. But uh, here's a good look at the fruit. You can see how long this thing is. Look how long that is. Wow, that thing's got to be eight inches long, and some of them get a nice curly, you know, look at that nice curl on that thing. It's a gorgeous pepper. Look at this one. Look at the size of this thing. This thing's it's hanging so low that the little rodents are gonna get it. Um, I ate part of it earlier. I can tell you it's sweet. There's absolutely no capsaicin burn. Though there is a slight capsaicin taste to it, if that makes any sense, but no burn. So, must be one of the other chemicals that make up the uh, the hot pepper. But it uh, it's a uh, pretty good eating pepper. Um, uh, if you like your cayenne to add to your dishes, and you might want to add that cayenne flavor to it without the heat, this is a good option, guys. It's a sweet cayenne. It's truly sweet. I was a little surprised. I didn't think it, I thought it would have a little heat on it, but not as at least the green one didn't. We'll do another taste test down the road uh, when it actually starts getting um, red peppers on it. You know, once I start getting some of them uh, ripe and fully ripened, then we'll we'll taste it again, see if there's any heat on it. So, but as of right now, I can tell you, I didn't have any heat on the green ones or yellow, whatever color you want to call that. It's like a green. It's like a lime green color. So it's not quite yellow, but it's like in between. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the uh, sweet cane. All right, so the uh, cane sweet pepper. I paid two fifty for the pack. Trade wind fruits. Uh, here's the seeds. Is it focusing? Can't tell. I don't got my glasses. It looks blurry to me, no matter what. Anyway, that's a seed pack, nothing on the back. There's still seeds in the package. There's a good image of it when it's ripe. Look how long that thing is. That's exactly what it's doing, too. Looks just like that. Uh, you get 15 seeds in the pack. I had no problem starting it, growing it. It withstood uh, hardening it off, you know, burning it off, should I say. Uh, there's no Scoville, there's zero Scoville units. It's sweet. It's a capsaicin anum, and uh, this is it. This is the details. I will put that in the description below, and uh, that's the cane sweet pepper trade with fruits.